Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to continue our discussion of the color calibration module. In the previous video we looked at how to perform white balance corrections in the CAT tab. Today we're going to continue with the channel mixing part of the color calibration module. We have three tabs, one for red, green and blue. Each tab allows you to change the output based on the input multiplied by what you've just inputted in these sliders. For instance, here we are working on the red pixels. I can change how much green there is in the red pixels. or how much blue. Of course, this does not only change the parts of the image that appear red. It changes because all, any color that you see is a combination of these three pixels. So it's changing the pixels or the sub pixels that are producing these colors. You can do the same for green. And the most basic would be to just increase the green saturation. But you can introduce different colors in it and to produce a mix of all those three. And the same goes for the blue module. On all three tabs, you've got a checkbox called Normalize Channels. You can use that one to try and preserve the overall brightness of this channel. So if you've played around with the inputs and the brightness has been changed, so it was the image became darker or lighter, you can try this checkbox, which would reduce all of the coefficients or add or increase them proportionally to preserve the brightness. I'll play around a little bit with this to see if we can affect the brightness. And then check the normalized channels and see what the effect is. As you can see, it tries to restore the overall brightness to how it was before I inputted these manipulations. Let's reset the whole thing. Next we have the colorfulness tab, which will adjust the saturation uh, based again on the color of the pixel, so based on red, green and blue. Pushing the slider to the right will increase the saturation of the color. Pushing it to the left will decrease the saturation. And in this case the normalized channels checkbox here will try to restore the overall saturation to the previous one while leaving the actual relative saturation the same as you've inputted it here. Next, the brightness. It has exactly the same controls as the colorfulness tab, but this time we're adjusting the brightness or luminosity of the pixels. And again, the normalized channels checkbox here attempts to restore the overall brightness to how it was while keeping the relative brightness proportional to the inputs here.
the last tab is the gray tab and this one produces a monochrome image with more emphasis on the pixels or on the color that you input here so if we start adjusting these now we're getting more red so what you're doing here is actually changing the luminosity of those colors in the monochrome image and this one works as the previous ones to restore the overall brightness while respecting the proportions that you inputted here it is a quite a handy way of uh, producing a monochrome image now if you remember correctly we could do more or less the same kind of manipulations in the color balance module we could work on the hue changing the color changing the saturation of the colors and the brightness however the main difference is that in the color balance module we do that based on luminosity see so based on the shadows midtones and highlights while in the color calibration module we do that based on the input color that's it for the color calibration module a uh, showcase sessions video will be uh, forthcoming uh, based on this module to uh, put it all in action and showcase uh, how it works so stay tuned if you have any questions remarks or corrections please leave them in the comments below and i'll see you next time bye bye